All right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. Uh, I've got a vapey thing that I wanted to talk about today, and it's this little guy right here. And it's weird. It's it. I get it. It's a weird little guy. This is called the Stealth. It's from Cato Vapor, and it's sort of a it's a pod system, and it's a it's a little bit bigger of a pod system. It's less like the Jewel and more like the Me Pod type of system. A little bit bigger, a little bit bigger size all around, a little bit bad bigger battery and a little bit bigger of a tank. And this is going to be a quick one today because there's honestly not a whole lot to this. But in order to get to know this just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close as we often do. Quick, short, upy, closey time. Go. All right. Well, we're going to take a look at this Kato Vapor pod system. Oddly shaped. I don't know. It's a little bit weird. There's no buttons or switches or screens or anything. There's a mini USB here or a micro USB here rather for charging. It's all internal battery and then your little pod system comes out like this. There's only one way for this pod system to go in, for this tank pod to go in. It has to follow the contours of the of the mod. You can't flip it around and stick it in this way. So it's a little bit foolproof. You can only put this in one way. And then right here is your little airflow hole that you're going to put your mouth on and just mouth to lung away. You can kind of see on the inside those two little contacts right there. Those are going to hit those two little contacts right there. And while we're here, let's take a look at this pod real fast. So those are your contacts right there. The pod itself is very dark colored. It's difficult to see unless you hold this up to a lamp, like how much juice you actually have in there. I find myself constantly pulling this out to check my juice level, not being able to see it and then going, ah, okay, and then holding it up to a lamp. So so you can see where your juice level is in there. Uh, the interesting thing about this pod is there is only one side of the wick that goes into the tanks. And a lot of pods, you have the coil head right in the middle. So you have two wicks going into either side of the tank. With this, there's one large reservoir on this side. Then your heating coil is in here. And then there's one wick going into the tank. And it can sometimes, not often, but sometimes be a little tricky with the wicking. Thankfully, this does have a real tight draw, which we'll talk about when we get back up top. Now this coil head is old. I've been using it for, oh, I don't know, at least two months now. So I've got a brand new coil head here, or not coil head, pod. I've got a brand new pod here that we are going to fill up. I'm just going to place this one to the side and we're gonna open up a brand new pod and we're gonna fill it up. So on the bottom, you have this kind of little silicone plug right here, and I really like this fill system because it's big. This pops open and opens up a fairly large hole right there. Makes it much easier for filling it up with various different bottles that maybe don't necessarily have like a needle point tip, like a glass dripper bottle. You could definitely fill it up that bigger hole right there. So I'm going to be throwing some six milligram salt nick in here. You can use these again with any nicotine level that you want. You don't necessarily have to go to these like 18, 24, 30, 50 milligrams. I'm going to use six because I find it enjoyable. And all you do is fill it up. And when you're filling it up, it's really, again, hard to see your juice level. So you kind of wait for it to get to the top. It's all, it's, it's, it's always a tense situation. <gasps> there it is. Okay, cool. Now it's full. Just going to pop this plunger back down in there. Real easy, no mess, no liquid anywhere. And then you have a few options now. You can just wait and wait for this to wick to the coils and you're going to have to wait a while if you go that route. I would say, I don't know, 15, maybe 15, 20 minutes for this to wick properly or you can take your finger right here and you can cover up this airflow hole. And this is the way that Kato Vapor said to prime this coil head is you take cover up this airflow hole right here. You put the mouthpiece in your mouth and you just take a few toots and you'll feel your air resistance be instantly cut off and what that's doing is it's just pulling some juice into the coil head. And again, because the plastic is so dark on here, you can't see your coil head. You can't see when it's wet or not. But if I have this intensely backlit, you can kind of see, yeah, this is your whole tank reservoir right here. There's your little heating element and you can see one wick going into the tank right there. Just, just one little wick. When you take a few of those dry toots and you kind of see some bubbles like this happening, you know that your coil head's getting wet. And if you have really good eyes, I'm not going to be able to show this on video at all, but you have a little mouthpiece right here. If you look down it, you can kind of see your coils down there and you can kind of see if they're wet and primed and ready to go. I've done a, a few of those cover up the airflow hole dry toots and it appears to be moist in there now. So all that's left to do is to just pop this back in and it's completely held in by pressure. There's no magnets or anything fancy 
frequency like that. One thing that happens occasionally that I'm not gonna be able to demonstrate now, but when you're using this and you maybe wanna pop this off to refill it, there can sometimes be a little bit of juice on the tank. You get a little bit of condensation around this area, a little bit of condensation right here. It's easy enough to clean up and it doesn't really get on the inside of the battery compartment or the, this battery right here. It's just, you know, one of those things, just be aware of it. But we got this filled up with a brand new pod. So what we're gonna do right now is get back out to normal view. We're gonna vape this guy. Yeah, I mean, it's a great little vape. The draw on it is very, very stiff. If you are someone who is out there and you're looking for a pod system or you're looking for some sort of mouth to lung thing and all of them that you try, the draw is a little bit too open. This draw is a very tight, tight, stiff draw. but it works. It works and the flavor is very good on this. These pod systems aren't any sort of like fancy wires or anything in there. This is all just round wire around a wick. So you're not gonna get like crazy flavor like you would maybe from like a single coil RTA with like an alien in it or uh, you know an RDA with some frame staples in it. Things like that are always gonna give you better flavor in my opinion than just a pod system made with really, really fine round wire. But with that said, this is loaded up with that six milligram fall delight sage nicotine salt and it tastes great. It tastes delicious in here. The overall fit and finish of this device, it's fine. There's honestly not much to it. It's just one body, right? This is a body, this is the battery, and it's one big pod, and the pod just kind of pressure fits in there, and it sits and it stays in there. I've never felt like this was ever loose or like it was gonna fall out or be wiggly or anything. It sits in there and it sits in there real firmly. I'm 100% sure that they made this a very stiff draw in order to aid in that wicking process. It works great. It works great. It tastes great. It's a really nice, stiff airflow mouth to lung vape. There's not really much I'm going to fault this on. I like the size. I like the battery life. I like the tank capacity. I like being able to just boop right there. Yeah. Leaving the house. No big deal. Got my Kato right here. Boom. It's kind of cool. It's not revolutionary. I say this a lot. It's not revolutionary. It's not groundbreaking. It's just a pretty solid pod system that once you prime that coil and get some juice flowing, the juice will continue to flow and it'll give you a very nice, a very tight mouth to lung vape. So are you gonna need your vape budget hands? Bah, probably not, not really. Clicking over to the Cato Vapor website, they sell these for 30 bucks. This is a system that doesn't come pre-filled, so you're not tied to the flavors that come pre-filled in these cartridges and these little tanks right here, these little pod tanks. You fill it up with your own juice, so all you have to do is buy blank tanks and you can fill it up with whatever juice you'd like. Now, if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have, I have nothing to vape on? Is the Kato Stealth something I would seek out and buy? Eh, I don't know. Probably not. It's not at the top of my list for pod systems, but it's fine. It's a it's a perfectly serviceable pod system. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. I feel like this video for this product already went just way too long. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, but I will post some links down in the description to the Cato Vapor website where you can check out this little, this little credit card sized pod system and it just fits in your pocket right there. And that's cool. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeehaw, let's keep on vaping. <laughs>